men and women contribute equally to the causes of subfertility. For this video, let's talk about female factors. There are five of them, and the first is that there might be a problem with the woman's ovaries. Some women have problems with ovulation. This means that a mature egg is not regularly produced. This is often seen in women with PCOS. Other women might have problems with their ovarian reserve. This might cause the early closure of a woman's fertility window and might be due to the woman naturally having a diminished ovary reserve, premature ovarian insufficiency, age, endometriosis, or history of ovarian surgery. Secondly, another main cause of subfertility is due to the woman's tubes. This is somewhat like a roadblock on the passage for the sperm to meet the egg. A woman may have problems with blocked tubes due to various reasons such as pelvic inflammatory disease or endometriosis. A history of tubal or pelvic surgeries can also cause scarring from outside the tubes and cause occlusion. Lastly, hydrocelphings, which are dilated tubes filled with fluid, is also a cause of subfertility. Toxins from inside the swollen, fluid-filled tube may backtrack into the uterus and cause the embryo to fail to implant. Another main factor is the uterine factor, which means the soil for the embryo to implant is compromised. There might be problems with some growth within the uterine cavity. This might be endometrial polyps or submucosal fibroids. Cavity distortion, which is compression and pressure on the uterine cavity, may also cause subfertility. This might be caused by large intramural uterine fibroids, adenomyosis, or congenital uterine anomalies such as bicornate or unicornate septic uterus. Also, sexual dysfunction is another cause of subfertility. This is defined as the inability to have penetrative sex, which might be vaginismus or dyspareunia, which is painful sex. Lastly, a woman's general health is important as well when it comes to fertility. Nurturing a growing fetus is a demanding task on a woman's body, and any poor health will compromise the ability of a woman to undertake the process of conception and pregnancy. Thus, chronic medical illnesses which are not well controlled, such as diabetes, thyroid dysfunction, autoimmune diseases or cancer may affect a woman's fertility. These have been the main factors of female subfertility. Thank you for watching.